The 12 year old rapper Maddox blew up in 2017 with his song Overwhelming, which has 32 million views on YouTube as of now. At the young age of 13 he got signed to Warner Bros and released music with mainstream artists like XXXTentacion and Chief Keef. He was pulling in hundreds of millions of streams, but those streams slowly turned from millions into thousands as he got older. So what happened to Maddox? Well, to find that out we're going to have to start from the beginning. Matthew Grau, famously known as Maddox, was born on the 13th of December 2004 in Philadelphia. His mom was only 15 years old when she gave birth to him, and his dad took his own life due to mental illness at a very young age. Matthew was therefore raised by his mother and aunts. His interest for music was always present in his life, and he wrote his first rap at only 8 years old. One day I was like 8, and I just wrote this rap. To say like all these curses and then my mom found that John she started snapping on me. <laughs> Matthew learned the basics of music production from his uncle who owned a small recording studio and shortly thereafter started recording and posting his own songs. Little did 12 year old Maddox know that a snippet from one of his songs would change his life forever. Forza, a producer who is a part of the collective working on dying coincidentally found the snippet and contacted Maddox, telling him to come to their studio and record. They made four songs with Maddox, Loki, Michael Myers, This and That and Climbers. The songs got some decent traction but none of them went viral up until they dropped Overwhelming. The overwhelming music video got close to a million views during the first week of it being released and Maddox skyrocketed to fame pretty much overnight. What's interesting about this song and the music video is that it didn't contain any drugs, guns or even swear words, which was very uncommon during the 2017 Soundcloud era. Maddox didn't try to portray a gangster lifestyle, he was just a kid having fun, which was one of the main reasons as to why the song blew up in the first place. Hey, I'm on a block post it. Hey, hello. Yo! That shit cool though, because at least they're not trying to flex no guns and shit, you feel me? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah, like, they, like that's their weapon of choice, you yeah. feel me? Seeing a 12 year old perform a song that actually was good flow and lyrics wise, all while him and his friends were playing with fidget spinners, was just so out of the ordinary that it went viral. The music video got posted on reddit where users posted comments like I love this cause this is a kid making the same ass music as half of these grown ass men on soundcloud. I don't know if he's bringing value or devaluing soundcloud rap but I sure am interested. Maddox made one more song with working on dying called Pom Poms featuring Lil Tracy. He was accepted by the industry at this point in his career and he got to meet a lot of major rappers like Lil Peep. Chief Keef and Lil Uzi, just to name a few. He also DM'd XXXTentacion out of the blue, and they got along well, which led to Maddox's second breakthrough. X album Question Mark was released on the 16th of March 2018, and Maddox was featured on one of the songs to everyone's surprise. The song in question is called Triple Dollar Sign, and it charted on number 45 on the Billboard Hot R&B and Hip Hop songs. It's also worth noting that the song has 175 million streams on Spotify as of now. Maddox also dropped an album during 2018 called OX, which performed well. The album as a whole has 41 million streams on Spotify. This led to him being able to sell out shows. During this time he also got signed to Warner Bros Records and got out of his contract not long after for unknown reasons. The owner of the whole label quit and I was just like... What label was that? That was Warner. Oh, okay. So, what What did Pump do? He ran him. Pump, he, uh, he said he didn't couldn't have legally signed the contract because he was too young or something right. and he got out of it. I you got out of mine too. Maddox was at the peak of his career, doing big numbers, selling out shows and collaborating with mainstream rappers, but this was also the point where his career started to fall apart. He didn't drop another album until 2022, 
which is four years after he released OX. However, he did drop singles and mixtapes between the albums. Some of the songs got a couple hundred thousand streams, but a lot of them didn't even reach 100k. Maddox was featured on the No Jumper podcast in 2020, when Adam22 asked why he has not been releasing albums, to which Maddox responded that there's a lot of albums to come. You haven't put anything out in a while. Last project, 2018. Yeah. Where are you at musically? Like, have you been grinding, trying to yeah, get ready? Yeah, bro, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop an album, but billions of mixtapes, you feel me? That's all dropping, and then billions more albums after this one album. Okay. This one album, about to be crazy. And Maddox didn't lie, because he did release two albums in 2022 and two albums in 2023, even though it took him five years in total to put them out. But as you can see on screen now, none of the albums did well compared to his numbers before his break from music. Year of the Ox got 1.6 million streams, Teen Rave got 500,000 streams, Oxygen got 650,000 streams, and Teen Rage only got 160,000 streams. His latest album, Teen Rage, only got a total of 160,000 streams, which is about one-fourth of the least streamed song on his album OX. But what was the cause of this tremendous downfall for such a promising young artist? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First off was his break between 2018 and 2020. It caused fans to forget who he is, especially since he changed a lot appearance-wise, but also in the way that he acts. He was no longer the energetic kid that listeners were used to seeing. This becomes very apparent if you compare his interviews from 2017 and now. Are you in love with freestyling? Bro, me and Chapel got the craziest <laughs> freestyle. Nobody can not beat oh us. My God. Hey, this is my game. <laughs> yeah. I was Everything exposed to a lot, you feel me? Mm. But it's like nothing. It's like... I couldn't, I never took it serious, you feel like I wouldn't take those things serious because it was just happening, you feel me? Mm. Like, it wasn't like, like, it wasn't like I was in the streets or something, like I was, like, you know what I'm trying to say? But while this is a major reason as to why he fell off, you can't really blame him for it. Because becoming a famous rapper overnight as a kid probably got too overwhelming. Another reason as to why Maddox fell off is because he changed up his whole style. His album Teen Rage, for example, sounds like a cheap copy of Yeet, Playboy Cardi and Trip Red combined. I wouldn't call the album or his current style bad, but it just sounds like something that you have already heard a million times from other rappers. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that Maddox still has 700,000 monthly listeners that listen to his music from when he was a kid. This means that he clearly still has a dedicated fan base, so a comeback shouldn't be impossible. Well, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then I would really appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.